to bed, my head's too light to try to sit down. Sleep, sleep, I couldn't sleep tonight, not for all the jewels in the crown. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still. Thank you to the Stockton Arts Commission for allowing this to happen, and especially for that generous grant we had for this 2011 season. It's without our good audience that keeps showing up year after year. Their generous donations and co-sponsorship are an integral part of the concert series, and that community support brings the magic of the music to the summer nights at the park someplace special. Okay, thank you. I don't need anything. 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 pursuits Renata has not gotten involved with. Her talents are so diverse that I imagine the Stockton Arts Commission might have had the wonderful problem of figuring out which award best suits her. A volunteer award makes sense, especially when we think of Renata's basic attitude toward time and effort. She will pour an infinite amount of herself into any project she takes on. She's tireless, always sacrificing herself for the love of her art. She's a real bon vivant, or I guess I should say a belle vivant. And she's got a true character with a romantic spirit who embraces life. And it's time she gets to speak for herself. It's a pleasure to introduce to you Renata Brickham. 
to receive the volunteer award from the Stockton Arts Commission, I was surprised and touched when I received the letter. I would like to thank the Board of Directors of the Stockton Arts Commission for your consideration and many thanks to all, the Chair, William Maxwell, Judy Caruso Williamson, Minnie Eichley who compiled the evidence of the costume. I thank my family for their help in my crazy deadlines, for putting up with needles and costumes all around them, especially during all the major holidays for all these years. And yes, I love to cook and bake and clean, <laughs> uh, maybe overnight. Um, I thank my family for letting me study my solo music on Christmas Eve for 18 years, running to midnight masses. I thank them for waiting on Christmas morning to open their presents only in the afternoon when I came back. <laughs> thank you all for the freedom to create and for the trust in my abilities. Thank you. Donovan was a force to be reckoned with, but I think the force is with us tonight. We know the recognition is overdue, but we'd just like to say, Donovan, you were the outstanding arts educator for all years. Thank you, Don. We're not being offended by the fact that we did this piece in two days, and it's cheesier than a large Mountain Mike's pizza. <laughs> So how do we thank you? With our words, building you up with the fundamentals you instilled in us, knowing that no matter how far apart we go, we will always be attached by the pin. Thank, thank you, you for giving us a voice. With the this explosive influence and guiding light that they have created will last long in the galaxy of Stockton stars. I'm very happy to present the 2010 Common Award to Ms. Tama and Mr. Aaron Brisbane. This evening is really different for me, so I'd first like to always give thanks to God uh, for allowing us to do these things here in the city of Stockton and to have brought us here. I'd also like to thank the Art Commission and everyone who has seen and have been part of any production and our show that we put on today so far. Sort of young people is an especially exalted position. I kind of think the common thing is cool. Um, at first it was like, wait, wait, a comment? Comments aren't seen very often, but when they are, there's a trail behind them, and that's what distinguishes a comment. As a comment orbits closer to the sun, it expands, and as it expands, the trail behind it expands. We are going to do the best we can to be the best comments we can, because what trails behind us are the voices of Stockton's young people. And we think that's hella cool. <laughs> Educators, you know, you all need to give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> there are our services there. And you know, one of, uh, a lot of a uh, favorite of a lot of you is not here right now because he's down in Los Angeles. I know a lot of you saw much more of this young man than uh, probably you expected to. Uh, that's Mike Rose. We want to give him a round of applause for helping create the as well. And, and I don't want to forget at all my wife, Victoria Jordan, with Wade Hamilton. I think uh, most of you who went to American Blues Theater Company, I think probably the primary reason why you maybe came back again and again was because of Victoria Jordan there at every show out in the front. So. And again, a special little thank you to Paula. And Paula, you and I both know why. <laughs> and to all of the members of the Stockton Arts Commission who helped uh, make this happen, I thank you all.
and being proud of him at this time, I am honored to present the Stockton Arts 2011 Career Achievement Award to Chris Isaac. Yeah. I'm quite in the man who doesn't think this is a good city. I can say that with impunity because both my big brothers are here. <laughs> Jeff and Nick will back me up on that. I want to start thanks to the Art Commission, and if anybody doesn't think that this Art Commission is tasteful and has a sense of humor, they gave me this award. Okay? Because they're savvy. They know what's going on. I just, I, I, I have brief notes. I just want to say, you know, you become a musician, and uh, when you're in Stockton and uh, starting off, I didn't know anybody in show business. Um, and I, I remember trying to think, well, how am I going to get into show business? And I went down to Miracle Music. And the people in the music store, they're always smart alecks. No, they are. The guys, are, they're always smart alecks. But there was a guy at the music store that I could go in and I would say, could you show me how to play this guitar riff? And that guy is still a better guitar player than I'll ever be, and that's Bill Stevens. Yeah. 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 Been here tonight and seeing all the talent, the Gabbies, and so many people, the, the, the poets who have been here tonight, the great musicians who are here, I feel a little bit like, you know, uh, one time I went to UOP and they gave me an award years ago, and I was so excited to get the award, they said, Chris has been on The Tonight Show. And then the, the other person getting the award was, and this is Dr. Huang, who's cured cancer and children um, by using the plant. And it went on like that, and I went, it's just like, can I go home now? <laughs> and I felt a little, I feel a little bit that way. I'm in, I'm in and amongst a lot of stars here tonight, but I will say this, they took the trouble to engrave my name, and I'm keeping the award. Thank you. Thank you. 